Today I'm very excited to announce the release of Density Plus, which is the even more advanced version of my Density DCTL, and this one has got a couple of extra features that I'm really excited about. The first thing you might notice is that now our sliders don't range from 0 to 1, but all the way from minus 0 to 1. And that means we can now dial in negative density. And how we would use this, for example, is if I dial in some density in the reds here, and then I dial in some negative density for the yellows, you can see that we can totally reshape the distribution of density in our, in our image. So now the, the apples here really pop. There's so much more contrast in the apples because the reds and the yellows have so much more differentiation in terms of their densities. And I think this is a really, really beautiful look. Um, we can also do more extreme things with this. For example, in this image, I really like what the HSV mode does uh, when it comes to negative density. If I decrease the density of these reds, you can see we get a very bleached out, very light, airy sort of look. And I think you might really like the delicacy that that gives to the skin tones, for example. And another new feature, is that I've added a weight slider which replaces the preserve highlight slider. And let me show you what this does. If I dial in quite a bit of density for now, just to make this more obvious, you can see that this weight slider at a position of zero, the density is just evenly applied to the image. But if I increase this, more of the density is applied to the darker areas of the image as, a, as opposed to the lighter areas of the image. And this kind of takes into account the transfer curve that you're in. So you can choose all kinds of different transfer curves. If you're in ACES, you can choose ACES CCT, for example. I'm in DaVinci Intermediate right now. And that means that this weight slider pivots around the middle exposure in this transfer curve. But now you can also shift this around and this means you can have more control over how much of the highlights you want to preserve. All the way to the right, you're not preserving any highlights. All the way to the left, you're not having any effect. And then you can choose exactly where that cutoff is and fine tune so that how you distribute the densities in your image. And I think this is a big improvement as opposed to this very one dimensional preserve highlight slider. Or in this example, I might want to create a more pastel, a lighter sort of color palette. And I can do that very well using the HSV mode. And I'm just going to start, actually, I'm going to start just applying some negative density globally. And then I'm going to reduce the density in the greens and the cyans. And a little bit in the blues as well, there's a bit more in the reds. And then I might want to add a little bit density in the yellows to create a little bit of contrast against the background. And then I might want to increase the weight and see if I can adjust the weight pivot a little bit. And now I've created a very light color palette. These colors seem to be, the, the faces seem almost like they're shining a little bit. Uh, while, as you can see, the blacks and the grays, they're not changing at all. And I think the sort of negative density is actually really useful. And as I said, these different modes provide very different results. And I just tend to really like the HSV mode, particularly for this sort of adjustment. And so we can really create a very nice light pastel sort of color palette. And another new hidden feature is in the tetrahedral method. So as you might remember, if we dial in some green density and then we use that hue shift slider in spherical and HSV mode, we can fine tune the hue center around which our density adjustment is applied. But you might also remember that this does not work in the tetrahedral mode. So I've included a different feature, which is this hue shift now applies an actual hue shift to the colors based on how much density we've dialed in. So as you can see, in this case, we're only dialing in a hue shift for the greens. And as the greens get denser, they also get a little bit more bluish. And on the other hand, I could increase the density of the reds. And I say, I want the reds to get a little bit more yellowish as the density increases, then I can do that as well. 
And I can obviously combine this with the weight slider. So now the reds get more yellowish and get more density, but only towards the darker parts of the image. And I can get really complex results with that. And as I said, with the introduction of this weight and weight pivot slider, there is now support for a wide variety of different transfer curves within which you can use this tool. And as I said, that just makes sure that your weight adjustment pivots around the middle exposure in your transfer curve. This is all for today. I hope you find this useful. The Density Plus DCTL is now available from my new shop, iridescentcolor.com. It's £25, and obviously the old version is still available if you don't want to pay that much. If you already have the old version and you want an upgrade to this new version, then literally just drop me an email at info at iridescentcolor.com and I can provide you with an upgrade. Thank you so much for watching and I see you next time.